Iconic four-wheel drives have become an endangered species. Nissan's Y61 Patrol and Land Rover's Defender, they've already left us, victims of ever tighter emissions targets, which makes Toyota's 70 Series Land Cruiser the last of its kind. But the lifeblood of the Aussie bush has been reset and recharged for 2017, but don't expect too many changes. This thing, it's still as technologically advanced as a roller skate and about as comfortable to pilot through the city as a camel. And it looks the same too. So what have they changed? The biggest changes occur under the bonnet. It's still a single engine and gearbox affair with every 70 series Land Cruiser fitted with the 4.5 litre diesel V8 paired exclusively with a 5 speed manual transmission. But Toyota tweaked the engine to comply with Euro 5 emission standards, upgrading the fuel injectors, adding a diesel particulate filter and changing the gear ratios to make second and fifth gear taller. They also added a traction control system for the first time along with an active traction system designed for off-road work. Interestingly, Australia was the driving force for these changes and led the charge for the engine to be modernised. In other markets, most opt for the petrol V6 engine, but the Australian outback and mining sites all insist on the big diesel, so Toyota Australia demanded our Land Cruiser get the updates. But if you're worried that all that modernising is going to soften the Land Cruiser, then we've got good news for you. This is the top spec LC76 GXL wagon, and even in this, the seats are fairly ordinary, the door trims are paper thin, and the insulation is virtually non-existent. There are some cursory nods to technology. This old school radio is Bluetooth equipped, for example, but the closest thing you're going to get to Apple CarPlay is actually playing with an Apple in the car. And there's central locking, which feels like a bit of an afterthought and is controlled through this separate key fob, and the windows are powered, but that's about it. Everything else in here is here for a reason, from the manual four-wheel drive controls to the diff lock switch to this little dial over here, which is your trailer brake control. Creature comforts aren't exactly at the top of the priority list for the Land Cruiser. Its $64,990 list price includes everything you might need to summon a mountain, but any luxuries are an added extra. Even the air conditioning, which is hugely effective, is a $2,761 option. But it is built for a purpose, and that purpose is working. It weighs around 2.5 tonnes, but it can tow 3.5 tonnes. It's got a huge 130 litre fuel tank. It's got a heavy duty four wheel drive system with low range, auto locking front hubs and a diff lock. It can cross rivers, climb mountains, you name it. Now I could tell you how this car is, at best, uncomfortable in the city. How the clutch is too heavy, the turning circle's laughable, and the steering spongier than square bob, but what would be the point? About 80% of these cars are sold to bush buyers, and that means that smooth tarmac only forms a small part of their daily diet. Besides, this car actually has a shorter wheelbase than the tray top version, and as a result, it is more comfortable on tarmac. People buy these because they're tough, bulletproof even, and they buy them because their morning commute looks more like this. And even here, there's nothing really that's going to test the limits of this car. But there is something hugely satisfying in knowing that I could throw it at just about anything and the Land Cruiser is going to come out on top. But it has to be said, if your daily duties involve disposing of rings in the fiery pits of Mordor, then there's few that do it better than the 70 series Land Cruiser. But if you're a hobby four-wheel driver and you're unlikely to really torture your car, then there's plenty of vehicles that'll do all you can ask of them, but they'll do it with comfort and safety and technology but there's few that offer the same kinds of retro charm as the 70 series Land Cruiser. Not just the last of a dying breed, but the last of a breed that's otherwise already dead. So if you want one and you can put up with it on the tarmac, then we suggest you act fast. Because an icon like this, it's not gonna be around forever. To read our full review, click here, and don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of all our latest videos. Basic idea here was we thought we'd do a little river crossing. The mud was just a little softer on the bank than we were anticipating, and we've been here for about the last 20 minutes or so. As you can see, our Blair Witch sticks have done very little to get us out of the problem, so now we're gonna have a little play with the diff lock, see if we can't free ourselves.